Hello everyone, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the 22nd XL 2007 tutorial. And what I'm going to do here is I want to show you today how to do a what if analysis in a spreadsheet. And specifically we're going to do um, something uh, called a goal seek um, with that what if analysis. So what we want to figure out here is we want to figure out what the price of the car would be in order to meet a monthly payment. So this is uh, just a basic template that I put together. I put together a couple things here and we're going to go ahead and go through and fill in some information that we know. I've already formatted these cells here for you know dollar values or a number or a percent percentage. So we don't know the price of the car that we can really afford yet. So what we're going to do, we're going to assume we have $4,500 down payment that we can um, spend. We don't want more than a four-year loan, so we're going to say a 48-month loan. And we know that the interest rates that you can get right now are 7%, let's say. seven. Well, we'll do 7.5. Okay? So then what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to put a formula in. I'm going to say equals and I'm going to say the amount of the loan would always be equals the price of the car which is B2 minus the down payment. Okay, I'm going to ignore tax at this point just to keep it simple. And then the monthly payment formula we're going to do equals payment or equals PMT. Hit tab and it will auto fill in. The rate, what we're going to do is we're going to populate that by clicking on the interest rate over here. This is an annual rate, 7.5%, so we need to break it down into a monthly rate. So what we do is we do the, um, we divide it by 12, hit comma, and now it moves into number of periods. And we click um, the number of periods cell over here, B4, comma. And now our present value is the amount of the loan. So right now it's shown as negative $4,500, which doesn't make any sense. But I'm going to go ahead and click that. And then I'm going to close this formula with parentheses. And there you notice that it put a payment amount in there. One interesting thing about payments is that, <coughs> excuse me, is it's a negative number when it comes out. So if this were positive $4,500, positive um, $4,500. This would be a hundred negative $108.81. So the way to fix that is put a minus sign in front of your formula, hit return, and now you notice it's negative $108.81, which makes more sense. So what we want to do here is we want to go ahead and click on the cell F3 here, and then we want to go to Data tab what if analysis and we're going to do a goal seek okay what do we want to set we want to set the cell F3 and what do we want to set it to we do not want to spend more than five hundred dollars a month on our car payment so we're going to go ahead and just say set it to five hundred dollars and then how are we going to set that we're going to set it by changing a cell but what cell do we want to set or do we want to change we want to change this cell and you notice it puts it in, it automatically populates it. Hit OK. And there you have your answer. You can afford a $25,179 car to keep your monthly payment at $500. Now, the nice thing is we put formula, we put um, cell references here in the formulas versus static values. So now, if I go over here and I find out. Now the dealership is uh, selling certain models and they're willing to um, sell them with a 4.9% interest loan. Well now that same $25,000 um, car is $475.29 but now I can go back up here and do my what if analysis again and I'm going to do the same thing. Now I'm going to still, I can afford $500 a month in payments but I want to change this cell and I'm going to click OK and now with that lower interest rate you could afford a $26,254 um, car. So that's all I wanted to share with you for today. Hopefully that was helpful and of course you don't need to do the what if. You can use this for a mortgage payment or a car loan or whatever it is. 
can also use this for what if scenarios uh, how much do you need to save every year in a 401k or IRA or whatever it is to reach a certain investment goal based on your rate of return that you're estimating. So thanks for joining and please don't forget to subscribe and drop, in, drop me any uh, comments or notes if you want to see uh, anything in particular. Thanks.